Hey parents, welcome to Hillside Kids Online. Enjoy watching together as a family and don't forget to use the Parent Q app throughout the week to continue with today's lessons and be the parent that you want to be. It all starts now. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, everyone. It's always great to see that you've logged on and watched at some point during the day. Now, we've had super fun this month so far with the theme, and I hope that you all have been getting in the spirit and playing games at home as we're talking about responsibility. Responsibility is showing you can be trusted with what is expected of you. When you're playing your favorite board game, you need to make sure you understand the rules and follow them so you can play your best. It's like that in real life too. We've uncovered a few important rules for life that will help us play well and finish strong. Don't forget what happens when you do a good job at following rules. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, let's check out this month's memory verse. Suppose you can be trusted with something very little, then, you can also be trusted with something very large, Luke 16.10. That's right, the more we show that we can be trusted and be responsible with small things, the more people are going to trust us with the big things. Let's listen to the Bible story today. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story the epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Proverbs, chapter 6, verses 6 through 8. Hey friends, good morning and happy Sunday. I hope y'all had a wonderful week. It's Mr. Vince. I want to hear to talk to you about a story out of the book of Kings. And it's about a young man named Solomon. Now Solomon was the son of King David. And I think we've all heard of King David. Now when King David died, Solomon was to become king, but he was young. And he was very nervous about taking on all that responsibility. But one night, God spoke to him in a dream. And in the Bible, it says that God asked Solomon, it says, ask for anything you want me to give you. Can you imagine God asking you that question? What would you say? Would it be, give me a brand new Xbox, or give me a brand new bicycle, or give me a Walmart gift card? I don't know. But do you know what, God, I mean, what Solomon said? Solomon was very wise and he asked for wisdom. And sure enough, God gave him wisdom. And as a result, Solomon became known as one of the wisest men that has ever lived. And he shared many of his wise sayings and it were, they were collected in a book called Proverbs. And that's in the Bible too. The Proverbs are a great source of wisdom for us, even today. They give us some really helpful rules for life. And one of Solomon's Proverbs explain why it is important for us to work hard. Check it out. So I'm going to read to you Proverbs chapter 6, verses 6 through 8. It says, You people who don't want to work, think about the ant. Consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander. It has no leader or ruler but it stores up the food in the summer and it gathers food at harvest time. An ant might seem like an unusual choice to inspire us to work hard, but if you take a closer look at ants, they're really fascinating. You'll see why Solomon chose this busy little insect as his example. Did you know that there are one million ants for every human being on this planet? That means that there are that means there's a lot of ants on this earth. And like Solomon said, nobody gives ants a set of rules to follow. 
Nobody offers them an allowance or more screen time if they do their jobs and do it well. God made them in such an incredible way that they stick with the job that needs to be done. They always give it their best and they don't complain. Oh, and ants may be small, but they are super strong. Some ants can lift up to 50 times their own weight. That would be like me being able to lift an elephant. <laughs> and they need all that strength so they can store up their food for the winter. Ants also leave a special chemical called pheromones behind them. That lets other ants know where to go and they don't repeat themselves, so they never get lost. They're actually pretty creative too. Look at this picture. Ants actually farm other insects called aphids. Ants can take care of the aphids so they can have a constant supply of honeydew, which is a sugary substance that aphids make. And the ants resourcefulness doesn't stop there. Look at this picture. In times of flooding, Ants will even protect the queen by forming a lifeboat with their own bodies. Ants do whatever it takes to gather food they need to keep their colony safe. They know how to get the job done and they do it with only about 250,000 brain cells. <laughs> that sounds like a lot, but guess how many brain cells you have? You have about 10 million. That's 40 times as many brain cells as the ant does. Ants do whatever it takes to gather the food they need and to keep their colonies safe. They know how to get the job done and they do it with about 250,000 brain cells. You have about 10 million brain cells. That's 40 times as many brain cells as an ant. God has given you everything you need to work hard. He's given you strength, intelligence, and creativity. Each and every one of us is made in his image. And because God has given us so much, he expects much of us too. Like Jesus once said, if you read the Bible in Luke chapter 12, verse 48, it says, much will be required of everyone who has been given much. And folks, we've been given a lot. You are smart and strong. You have a brain that works like no one else's. You have gifts and talents that make it possible for you to do exactly what God puts in your path to accomplish. You are determined, and most of all, you are made in God's image. So what does that mean for you and me? To know that you're made in God's image, to know that he made you strong, smart, and creative, it means that we work hard. We do whatever it takes to show God's love to the people that he made. You give your best effort and you give it every day. That might be we go clean up our rooms without being told four or five times. It might mean that we read the Bible just because. It might mean that we help our brother or our sister finish a project even though we would rather be doing something else. It's really kind of simple. Let's look at the bottom line slide. Two words, work hard. Say it with me again, work hard. Let's thank God for giving us all we need to do that. Let's pray. God, thank you for creating us to do good things and thank you for giving us everything we need to accomplish them. We know that we can honor you when we choose to work hard and we can also show your love to other people. Help us to work hard in every task we do. We love you, and we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, I hope you all have a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time. It's kind of funny to read about ants in the Bible, but Solomon was right. Ants really do show us what it means to work hard. Of course, we can see the very best example of hard work when we look at Jesus. See, Jesus knew what he came to earth to do. He had a massive task in front of him. I mean, he gave his life for us. Jesus lived a perfect life. Then he died on the cross to pay the price for our sin. He completed his mission 
and made it possible for us to have a relationship with God that will last forever. Each of us has a purpose too. God has put many tasks in our lives each and every day. Instead of waiting for someone to tell you to do something, we can take initiative to do it ourselves. We can work hard and always give our best effort. Work hard. That's a great rule for life. Say that with me. Work hard. You make the wise choice when you choose to give your very best. And remember, other people will notice your hard work. They'll see how you always try your hardest and they'll know that they can trust you. Like Jesus said in our memory verse, Luke 16, 10, suppose you can be trusted with something very little, then you can also be trusted with something very large. Let's pray and ask God to help us with these concepts. Everyone close your eyes, bow your head, and everyone reflect on these words. Dear God, it's not always easy for us to work hard. Please help us step up to our responsibilities and give our best effort for you and for those around us. We ask this in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen.